lionesses and, in this particular case, the herds wandering in their direction. It seems as though Vim and myself, after a, well, really truly unlucky evening yesterday, have been lucky this afternoon. My name is Jamie, and this afternoon, as I said, Vim is on camera with me, and we, of course, will be up all night. But for now, welcome to the Mara portion of this sunset safari, where we've got some truly lovely scenes in front of us. There we go. The sausage tree pride have once again proved to be heroes after being evasive for the last two weeks or so. Finally, finally managed to catch up with them once again. And the marvelous thing is, is that the herds have moved around and they went all the way down south back towards Tanzania and today, just because we're going to get lucky, they have decided to return. First the zebra and then I saw earlier a line of wildebeest on their way here as well. And we've been exceptionally lucky. Now the trick, of course, is to stay with them in case it starts to rain. That is going to be our biggest challenge this afternoon. So for those of you that are new to these live safaris, or perhaps you've missed some of our Mara shows, this is the Sausage Tree Pride. Two lionesses and four cubs, one of whom is now hidden but is very, very distinctive. It's the palest little lion cub I've ever seen that's not actually a leucistic or a white lion. She's hidden at the moment, but we've got four little cubs with very empty bellies. And they tried their hand earlier, and unfortunately we were battling off gremlins at the time. They tried their hand earlier at hunting the zebra. <laughs> they are, of course, far too young and far too inexperienced and actually just far too small to even think about catching one. But they were so hungry that they decided to give it a try, watched over by the mothers as they watched their offspring basically learn from their own mistakes. And they crept all the way up through the grass up to the zebra and then the zebra started snorting at them and they got scared and they had to run back to mum. So a really beautiful scene. So far we've been lucky the rain has moved away. Earlier on Serena was pretty much covered by cloud and it looked as though it was howling down that way. But I think we're going to get lucky tonight, touch wood. We won't have to do the, the whole rain experience. Don't forget to send through your questions on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. I suspect that these lionesses are going to wait until darkness sets in. They're not going to be able to stalk up to the zebra now. It is far too, well, it's far too light, first of all, and there's not enough grass cover. A couple of weeks ago, they would have been able to do it very easily. <laughs> Hello to James Richard, who said that he didn't expect the Mara feed today and that he's basically, well, saying hello to us. And, of course, generally speaking, on these afternoons, we're rushing around trying to essentially find ourselves the migration, where the wildebeest are, the lions, set ourselves up for tomorrow's television show, which will be our finale of the migration special for now. And... We didn't, generally don't make an appearance. However, we're here. We've been sitting with the sausages for the last few hours. We left super early because I couldn't find any lions yesterday. And voila, within half an hour, we were sitting with a hungry pride of lions. So we're happy. Brent and Scott have gone across to the other side of the river to search for the cheetah. Now, Rita, looking at these cubs, you want to know how old they are. I would say that... Ah, oh, thanks for that, Lions. Much appreciated. I would say that the younger set are around about four or so months old. I'd say the older set are close to six months or thereabouts. Two older and two younger. And the one little pale one is much, much tinier than her sibling. And I think one of the things I've been trying to do while I've been sitting here this afternoon is to actually try and get the sexes of the two cubs. And I think, oh, hello, heads popping up. I think that we've got two boys and two girls, one, one each from each age group, if that makes any sense. Heads up. Shame, little cubs are so hungry. They've been nagging their mums for food. You will see, of course, there's another vehicle, as you know. amazing spectacles and we have not yet got to the point of gate closing times 
So once the gates do close at around about half past six, Viam and myself and our ranger Joshua will be the only people out here. We will be the only people in the Mara Triangle, which is very special. Oh, it's bath time. Here's our little pale cub going for a walk. And you only really see it when you see her up close to the rest of them and when the light is shining on her, just how pale she is. And one cub rolling over and giving us a view of spotty bellies. <laughs> 